So to begin, you're going to start off with the main body color. I'm using blue for that. And you're going to do 13 chains. So here, let me start off. And I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So after you do that, you're going to slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. So go into that second chain, slip stitch, and then you're going to slip stitch in that next stitch too. After that, we're going to single crochet across, but leave the last two stitches unworked. So here we're going to do one, oops, one single crochet, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Oh, I'm sorry, I said leave the last two stitches, leave just w one last stitch unworked. Okay, so I'm leaving that last stitch there by itself. And what I'm gonna do next after single crocheting nine here is I'm going to now switch to the inner tail color. So I'm using white for that. And I'm going to chain one turn my piece and I'm going to single crochet um, nine. So go into the very front and as you can see when I single crochet I'm just going to carry along my yarn ends here so I don't have to uh, weave them in afterwards. They naturally get woven in. So here's my third single crochet, fourth single crochet, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. And I'm basically going to slip stitch in the last two stitches. So go into those last two and you're just going to make slip stitches. So slip stitch here and in that last one, slip stitch again. There we go. All right. After you've done that, we're gonna go into the next round, in the next row, excuse me. So you're gonna chain one, turn your piece again, and now we're gonna slip stitch two to begin. As you're noticing, we're slip stitching two um, whenever we get to this end of the fin. And it might be a little tight because you've slip stitched earlier before, so I'm really trying to wedge my hook in here. There we go. So one, oops, slip stitch. <clears throat> And then the next one, slip stitch. All right. And then we're gonna single crochet seven, leaving the last two stitches in work. So that's one, two, three single crochets, four single crochets, five single crochets, six and seven and as you can see there are two more stitches at the end here and I don't want to keep going I'm just going to leave those unworked okay 
So now, um, I also have all these burn ends here that I don't need anymore, so I'm gonna snip them off. Okay, and, excuse me, continuing on here, we're going to go into the next row, chain one, turn, and single crochet seven along this row. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you're going to do slip stitch two at the very end here. One slip stitch and two slip stitches. Chain one, turn your piece again, slip stitch two um, to start. And I'm struggling a bit here and trying to see where it is. I've got my <laughs> setup here where I have my phone uh, recording in front of me and I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm going into. Okay, my first slip stitch done. Here's my second slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm gonna go down this round, this row, and I'm gonna go ahead and single crochet five, leaving the last two stitches unworked. So that's one single crochet, two, three, four, and five. Leave the last two unworked. And then um, I'm going to chain one and turn here. Going to single crochet five across. One, two, three, four, and five, and then slip stitch two at the very end. Sorry, this doesn't look like crocheting. It looks like I'm wrestling with a yarn. <laughs> And I truly am here. Okay, <laughs> trying to get in there. All right, whew. And let's keep going here. So um, we've done that. And now for this next row, that's where this where we're gonna start increasing um, or making the length longer again. So to do that, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna slip stitch two. <clears throat> As you've probably guessed in the very beginning. One and two. After these two slip stitches, we're going to single crochet five. So that's one, two, three, four, five and then we're going to chain three one two three chains when you chain that's going to add length to your um your row and i'll show you how that works in this next row so you're we're gonna turn and we're gonna start from the second chain from the hook so in that second chain we're gonna start with single crochets and we're gonna single crochet across so for here, uh, the number is, let me just double check here. We're going to do single crochet seven across and then slip stitch in the last two stitches. So here, let's begin in that second chain from the hook, single crochet one and then two and then three, four, five, six, seven, and then you get to slip stitch in the last two stitches. 
slip stitch here and slip stitch here. Chain one and you're going to turn your piece, slip stitch twice, slip stitch, slip stitch. And then you're going to single crochet seven across. And at the end, we're gonna add some length by chaining three. So that's single crochet seven. One, two, three, oops, three, four, five, six, and seven. And chain three, one, two, three chains. All right, now let's go ahead and turn our piece. You can see this riggedy mermaid tail forming now. We're going to start from the second chain from the hook and single crochet across. That's gonna be nine single crochets. So I'm gonna go into that second chain from the hook here. First single crochet, second, Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. And as you've guessed it, in the last two, we're going to simply slip stitch. stitch and slip stitch. Okay, phew. Now we're going to switch to um, back to the main body color. So I was using blue. So I'm going to grab some of that and then go back to using it. going to chain one as I did, turn your piece, and then we're going to slip stitch two to start. Okay, slip stitch. And then the next one, slip stitch. Then you're going to single crochet um, nine. And that's one single crochet, two, three, four, Let me just cut off these loose ends so that they're not in my way. I was at four, now I'm at five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then I'm just gonna chain one at the very end. All right. And there you have it. There's the end of your uh, tail. I'm gonna pull on it a little bit. It's a little bit floppy. So I've got this tail made now and um, it is all ready to go. All you have to do is fasten off and um, you can weave in the ends. Or if you want to know a shortcut method, actually, let me go ahead and show that to you. I use this shortcut method for my art dolls where I'm not going to have it um, be washed or be played roughly. You can basically snip the um, ends really, really short, as you can see me do here. 
and instead of having to leave them in, you just dab it with some white nail polish. So here I'm gonna just add some dab, dab, dab to the very end. And other side, dab, dab, dab. Let me add in a little more. Dab, dab, dab. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right. There's a crochet hack for you. <laughs> All right. And that there is my little mermaid tail that I'm doing for my mermaid dragon. And um, I wanted to show you these cool little ear pieces too that I made. Those are the ears. This is the tail. And um, here is my dragon. It's in the works. I'll give you a sneak peek of it. Well, actually, by the time this comes out, it's going to not be a... By the time this video comes out, I mean it's no longer going to be a secret. But here's my dragon, and um, I'm working on it um, to have some... Well, I worked on it and then halfway decided to give it some cooler ears. So instead of these boring old ones, I'm going to give them these. And it's going to look like a cool serpent dragon. All right. And of course, it's going to have this cool little mermaid tail too. Okay, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll have a fun time crocheting this. Bye now. <laughs>